All right, so I am off to the high seas, guys. We are going to be ship hunting, and now it is time to fire. Oh, no. Uh oh, I took a big dip. There we go. Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, it is time for more cardboard destruction, and we are going to be doing that with these awesome cardboard pirate ships. These ships have port and starboard spud cannons, and it even has ramming capabilities with spud guns loaded up on the front. So in this video, we'll be taking a quick look at this cardboard pirate ship, and I've been keeping my eyes to the horizon, and I have noticed, guys, there is an enemy ship that is a Approaching, so we will be taking fire on them and there is even an enemy dock right here We just so happened to run on so we are also going to be trying to destroy as much of that as possible So this is going to be loads of fun and it's time to get right into it All right, so checking out this cardboard pirate ship I figured what better way to do it than get all the way up here for this awesome view of the entire thing now look at that that is absolutely fantastic so you can actually walk up and down this wire right here if you did want to get up to the top of the ship there but this is the cardboard pirate ship guys everything here that you see is destructible except for the uh, seats and thrusters and all that good stuff overall this ship is not really detailed this is more about the destruction aspect in scrap mechanic and I decided to keep it kind of simple just to make sure that the game didn't crash or anything and as you can see down here we have a whole bunch of thrusters this is all all being used to uh, keep the ship hovering because we are of course hovering off the ground right now and it also is used to steer the ship and we also have the spud gun cannons mounted here as well I decided to go with packs of four just so that way we could get a little bit more destruction because like I mentioned guys look at this this thing is completely destruct okay okay wait okay maybe it's not a good idea to shoot holes in my own ship but that is enough talking about this ship guys it is time for some cardboard destruction so let's sail on over right here we have an enemy ship that has approached us and it is time to deal with the situation all right so we are going to come up right along alongside them just like this I think our spud cannons are lined up pretty good just right about there all right and now it is time to fire there we go look at this oh man look that is perfect the cannons are hitting just where they need to now if you spam the one key you can actually shoot rapid fire look at this and it is actually pushing us away from the ship right now that is amazing but one thing that I did add to this cardboard ship is roll control so we can actually roll the entire ship just like this and that way we'll actually start to hover over and get closer to it again and one of the beauties of this thing actually is uh, you can actually just get out of the seat if you want to and take some shots with your actual spud gun And I find this is actually a much more effective method because we can actually take the sails out now Let's try and there we go. All right front sail has been completely destroyed. Oh Look at that. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. All right I don't necessarily want to take that back sail out yet, but uh, whoa, I just got to the wrong seat All right, I'm getting too excited here. Let's try and get a little bit closer and so another very useful thing about the roll control on this pirate ship is that you can actually use it to aim your cannons up higher if you want to so we're gonna start shooting and if we actually kind of tilt away from it you can see that we are shooting up a little bit higher and we can aim them back down again just like that and wow we are really getting pushed away here all right it seems as if we have actually really damaged that ship all right you know what it is time to take that final sail out we're gonna shoot that out and there it goes guys we have just sank that pirate ship oh wow look at it go and it is gone all right so that is actually that looks like it's just gonna keep on going but you know what that's okay all right, we got to dive down here and take a look at this destruction. Look, so we actually did take some of the cannons out. Wow, the sail, I mean, the sails are very, very vulnerable. So if you do actually use the, the handgun, then, I mean, no doubt you're going to have no effort whatsoever when it comes to sinking one of these ships. So, I mean, this would definitely be a lot of fun to do with your friends because, guys, this is, of course, on the Steam Workshop if you want to check it out and try and sink your friends' pirate ships. But look at this, guys. You can actually just get into the seat right here and we are ready for some more pirate action because we actually need to do some of the ramming. So let's actually turn this thing towards the dock and see what we can do. All right, so I'm just going to actually make my way here 
and quickly try and spin this thing around so that way we are facing the ship right there and I really don't want to actually sink myself. All right, here we go. We are going to smash this ship into the other one, ramming speeds ahead. This is it. Oh boy, I am very nervous. I have no idea what's going to happen right now. Okay, there we go. We have smashed right into them. Wow. Okay, hold on. It's starting to get laggy. Okay, I just saw a thruster. Oh no. Am I stuck? Guys, I think I am stuck in the ship. Oh, wow. Okay, we now have to check out this destruction. We have just rammed right into this ship. Oh, man, look at this. Okay, whoa. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, now this is absolutely awesome. I didn't know how well... Okay, I didn't know how well it was going to work. And, okay, this is like a supersonic battering ram because the thing actually sent spuds oh, it's actually still going right now and there we go we are even i mean we sent a shockwave so strong that it even started to rip through this ship over here let's take a look at this oh my goodness that is kind of ridiculous needless to say it actually tore a strip right through the dock as well but you know what let's try and get back onto our ship and back this thing up because i want to go at another part of this ship now all right, perfect. We are backing up no problem whatsoever. We're going to try and spin this thing around. All right, round two of the battery gram. Here we go. Let's see what happens this time. Boom. All right, we are smashing into the ship. Oh, my goodness. We Okay, we can see the spuds are getting thrown across the entire world. Oh, look at that. A block just fell off of something. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. We got to stay relatively close here. I want to inspect that damage. It just completely demolished that ship. And I find, I mean, aside from the fact that the spuds go completely through an object, this is really a good simulation of the spud cannons being used um, to simulate, like, the, the motion physics of destruction in Scrap Mechanic. And I have a few more ideas when it comes to destruction and smashing stuff with spud guns. Uh, so if you guys do have any more ideas though when it comes to cardboard and destruction and finding ways to have some fun with it, simulate stuff and be a little creative, then definitely let me know down in the comments. Now, I know one thing you're probably wanting to see is this ship ram into another hovering ship. Don't worry guys, I got you covered. I'm gonna spawn another one and we are going to see what we can do. All right, so I am off to the high seas, guys. We are going to be ship hunting because this thing is now a ramming ship. So we're going to try and find an, a worthy enemy, actually, and we're going to see if we can't do this. All right, there it is over there, guys. Look at this. We are using evasive maneuvers just so we can get this attack on the go, and we are approaching very, very fast. I might have to slow down just a little bit once we get up. Okay, this is it, guys. We are now ramming into the other ship. Oh no. Uh oh, I took a big dip. There we go. Look at this. Yes. Yes. Okay, we are now riding up on them just a little bit. Okay, keep on ramming. Can we chop right through this entire boat? Wow. Oh, jeez. Oh man. Okay, we are almost right through. Come on. We are a ramming ship, and this is beyond epic right now. I didn't think this was going to go that well. All right, we are actually just going to have to back up. I think this thing is being held up by a single block. That doesn't even make sense. All right, I might as well just actually keep ramming into this thing until we sink it. All right, there we go. A little bit more ramming action. Perfect. Oh, wow, we're actually pushing the entire thing. The entire thing is getting pushed by us right now. This is crazy. But it's still not sinking. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I think I am stuck to it. Yeah, I am definitely stuck. I think I'm gonna have to use my spud gun here, guys. This is, this is like actual high seas warfare right now. All right, where is that block holding it all together? Oh, wait, it's the masts. Oh, I forgot all about it, guys. The masts are connected. Here we go. We gotta break it off. Oh, wow, we're actually moving right now. We are, oh, no, we are cruising. We gotta do this. And we have to get back to our own ship. Can I hit it? There we go. I did it. Oh, no. We're sinking. I'm sinking. No, I didn't do it. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get back to my ship. Oh, this is absolutely violent right now. Okay, my ship is right there. Can we do this? Okay, I need cardboard. We are being pushed by the sail. Cardboard. 
I'm going to start building. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, guys. The whole thing is spinning. What is happening? Come on. I am going to escape with my ship. All right. So um, I was climbing this thing for quite some time. And, I mean, as you can see, this thing is just spinning around. The entire thing was completely chopped in half. And that's where the other boat is. I was trying to climb up to my ship, and it is sailing away without me. And here I am, stranded in the ocean now. Alright, so because my shipmates decided to abandon me and leave me for dead in the water, guys, I am going to get my revenge. I have gotten a new ship and we are going to ram into this one now. And I want to see just what kind of an outcome happens compared to the first time that we rammed into a ship. And I mean, you know, I'm, I'm getting revenge at the same time here. All right, this is it. We are just going to smash in right into the middle here. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't want to get stuck this time, though. So let's just back it up. Come on. Can we back out of here? Oh, no. We are stuck already. This is crazy. I am actually kind of doing a nose thing okay my my ship is now completely out of the water and i am now hovering up against the other one okay this is not quite what i expected i can't even back out of this guys this is absolutely ridiculous you know what it's more high seas warfare here we go let's see if i can do this on my own all right we're just gonna start taking apart the sails okay this is very hard to do when you're bouncing around very hard to do oh no can i do it can I separate these? Oh, jeez, I just got one of the sails. Take the other one out. Okay, both sails are now gone. Oh, man, we are still ramming into this ship, though. What can I do? What can I do? Can I get rid of this thing? Okay, I don't think that's going to help. Wait, no. Oh, no, we are sinking. I am going up to this side. Oh, man, this is insane. I, I have never had so much fun sinking ships in scrap mechanic. Okay, I, I guess... I got my revenge, but I just kind of wasted my own ship, too. Well, there you have it, guys. That is going to be today's video. Now, if you do enjoy the cardboard destruction and you want to see some more of it, then let me know by hitting that like button. And guys, if you want to see more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel, maybe even turning on notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So, of course, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So, bye for now.